Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Zalishan Mao here, and I have decided to 3D print these boats in full size. This one and the new design kayak because I needed something that I can test print for the very first time in full size, and this is slightly easier to print. And officially, yes, Slot Max Shark V2 and Shark Plus have started 3D printing the parts today. Let's see how many days it will take for me to finish this kayak in full size using these two 3D printers. So this part is printing and Alhamdulillah the very first part for the full size kayak that I am printing is ready. Ui, sweet mashallah. Now that's a big piece printed right there. One more is being printed and five are down here. So I have six pieces now. Another morning in my room and the kayak parts are being 3D printed. V2 is printing I believe the front bottom part, one of the front bottom part and one of the middle parts, <laughs> look at the size of that, just finished on Shark Plus and I believe this have been printing for one day 12 hours and to be honest looking at how many I have printed the printers are, both of these printers are non-stop working without getting turned off, non-stop. Once they finish a part, I will start another part. They have been working non-stop for over four days now. Two more parts are ready. Down here have kayak parts a few more left now here are the airboat parts which is just the top row I still have two more rows to print mid and bottom mm. looks like level is also good let it print now Finally, the last part of the kayak got printed, well, in fact, in two colors, <laughs> because I ran out of filament. As you can see, I actually ran out of filament a couple of times. This is the 3D printed kayak parts. I think it's time for me to start working on preparing them for joining. 
get more parts of airboat ready on my PC of course because as I mentioned there are 45 parts or more for the airboat so this printer will also start printing airboat parts and I'll be able to finish the airboat in time if you want to know well this is how the airboat will look like the airboat and the kayak kayak parts are ready let's get busy to join them okay so this is the full size after we lay down the parts together this is the bottom part and this is the top part and the way it looks like I 3d printed a full-size boat for kids <laughs> I think Arish or Hadi will fit in this kayak just fine after this joint together I will be able to sit in this but not sure you know not sure how <laughs> leveled it will be in the water this was my very first try and I would say this looks very very good size wise given that I'm using only desktop 3d printers and this is what we came up with uh, after a month of 3d printing and they actually did both printers actually did a very very good job we have this complete kayak right here and from this one I have an idea what to do for the next build maybe 2 meter 2.5 meters 3 meters long or something like that so this is this let's start working on this and let's join it
Welcome to my little man cave and welcome to the third episode of I am 3D printing a full size boat using the ordinary desktop 3D printers, nothing industrial. Right here, I sculpted a mini kayak in Fusion 360 and 3D printed a miniature model to float test. And after a month, this is the full size version on the floor. It's taller than I am. I'm not sure if it is 1.6 or 1.7 meter. I have to check again my measurements in the Fusion 360 because I stretched this mini model into a bigger one and then sliced it into 24 or 28 different pieces and 3D printed on these ordinary 3D printers, desktop 3D printers, Logmex Shark V2 and Logmex Shark Plus. And I'm very happy to see, look at the size comparison, right? Okay, let me bring it closer and you can see it. Yeah? Mm. I'm very happy to see that this full size version is here. And a few more steps, we can put it in water and give it a right and give it a real float test. All right, let's talk about why did I go with this mini kayak rather than this blue boat that we agreed upon. So once again, in August, I posted a video and shown you a couple of hulls that I designed and 3D printed miniature versions to float test them in the water tub and see how they handle the water, what are their capabilities to handle the water and load, etc, etc. And after that, we agreed that this hull design, this blue boat was the one that I should 3D print. So. I should be 3D printing this, not this. Why did I go with this? Well, answer is very simple. When I sliced this model, I realized there were more than 60 pieces. And I realized before I put my hard earned money bought filament into something very first time so big and run straight into a failure and get disheartened, why not sculpt a little kayak very, very quick, slice it, 3D print it, and learn from that. Yes, I'm very happy that I did it because it took these two printers one month to print these parts, well, one day to join this, but during this month, one month, I have learned a whole lot of knowledge, a whole lot of things about 3D printing, you know, full-size bows. So that was the reason I went with this. I sculpted this mini kayak, I sliced it into 28 pieces, and it took about one month or more for these two printers non-stop 3D printing these parts and about one day to prepare the parts and one day to join them together. Still there's a lot more to do on this, it's not ready to go into water, but during this time I learned, I learned a lot of things. Number one, I learned I cannot make parts too heavy. Now this kind of does have some heavy parts, but I realized that now I can 3D print lighter parts or I can even 3D print parts without any infill. Just make the walls thicker and don't do any infill so that when the model gets printed or a parts get printed, it will be hollow inside. It will have an air pocket inside which will serve as floating device automatically. Yes, so some of these prints do have about 6-7% uh, infill, but as soon as I realized I changed my infill settings and I got to only 2% gyro infill, so most of these parts are very lightweight and they are hollow inside. So this is like all these parts, they are hollow like an air pockets and it should serve as a floating device and it should float very well. As I have seen this 3D printed model, it was hollow inside and it floated very well when I gave it a water test, filled it with water, rolled it over and it doesn't drown, it doesn't sink. So this should have the same characteristics because these parts are hollow inside and they have air. And after I put on, yes, as I mentioned, there are more steps to do. I will do some uh, carf body filler putty work on this to fill these gaps and then I will put one layer or two layer of fiberglass on it and it will be ready and inside these parts will be nothing but air which will, which will serve as a floating device for this. So I'm expecting this to be a good floating mini kayak. So this was a test model and I have learned a lot. Now let's talk about what kind of uh, problems that I faced with using these two printers. To be honest, Lotmix is making real nice workhorses. 
These have been working more than a month now, non-stop, and now I'm 3D printing this little air boat right here, which again has, an, has a big area as an air pocket, and I plan to put on um, my electric paramotor motor on it that generates uh, 60 kg of thrust. That will be a very fast air boat. And this air boat is going to be larger, wider, longer than this one. These two printers, once again, they are going to work non-stop for more than a month. Uh, this one has more than 56 parts and I believe about 30 or more parts already printed. Now 20 more to go, something like that. So not much time. They will finish this and I will start building this. So the problems that I had with these printers so far are just minor problems. Nothing major, just minor. I had to uh, replace some of the nozzles twice on uh, Shark V2 and twice on Shark Plus. Once I replaced a complete, uh, you know, that heating, um, uh, heating body that actually heats the nozzle. So once I completely uh, replaced that one and just some of the Teflon tubes and some of those locks that actually hold the Teflon tube in it while the filament flows in. I mean, filaments goes in. So apart from these little, little parts, I did not have to change anything. Everything is fine. They are still working non-stop and going very well and doing their job very well. So Lotmex, thank you very much for making these workhorses. If you are really looking for 3D printers that will work day and night, non-stop, you are looking at those two printers right here. Lotmex Shark Plus and Lotmex 3D Shark V2. These two printers 3D printed this one and now they are 3D printing this. And once these are done, I'm going to go for this one which is going to be the biggest one. And this is not going to fit in my room here. So we'll, we'll be doing the videos outdoors. Okay, so this is this. Now, if you have any questions regarding this, please put them in uh, the video comment section. According to this model, it's absolutely a beautiful mini kayak right here. If it floats very well, if it shows some promise, I'm going to install an electric motor on it. They are sitting right there and one of those generating 23-24 kg of thrust will be more than enough on this mini kayak. Maybe I can use it as a surfboard, who knows. <laughs> if I want to ride this, I can stand on it and use it as a surfboard. I'm not sure how I will balance it. But anyway, if it shows that it can float and it shows it can, and it shows promise that it's a good floater, it won't drown, won't sink, I'm gonna put electric motor on it. So stay tuned for those parts. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give this video a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel. Hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications. Next video, of course, fourth video in this video series, you will see how I'm preparing this boat and hopefully we'll put it in the water for its float test, real float test. All right, so time for me to get busy. And you go ahead and enjoy more videos on my channel. There are 4,500 videos only for you to enjoy. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button right there. Come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.